Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Elijah Grimm here. Still suffering from a bit of a cold, but that's okay. I'll get over it. Today, we're going to be doing a different kind of video. We're going to be doing a gathering farming kind of video. I know it's not exactly exciting or as exciting as when I finally broke that 3 million gill barrier, made 5 million gill, but let's face it there's still plenty for people to learn I'm not done just because I made a little bit of money I'm still here to teach you how to do your best and how to make the best of any situation now right now the market is kind of in a weird place a lot of items are oversaturated there's so much on the market right now some of the items that have been selling really well for high prices have tanked and now they're going for really low prices. Some of the items that have been going for low prices have been go going up and selling for stupidly high prices. So we're going to take advantage of that a little bit today. And that's where this little farming video Cra are not crafting gathering video sorry crafting is the next one gathering video comes into play now we've got a few things to get fleece oak logs mahogany logs walnut logs we're gonna make some old goat leather and some toad leather and I'm gonna be with you each step of the way showing you exactly where I go how I do this Let's get started. So first up, we're going to get ourselves some fleece. And the best place to get some fleece, which is used almost exclusively in weaving, is Camp Dragonhead. So let's head on over there and start collecting. And also I apologize in advance for any sniffling or coughing or anything like that during this video. I'll try to cut as much of it as I can out. But just know I'm still recovering from being sick, so it's a thing. So right outside the front gate of Camp Dragonhead, you're going to find Caracols. Ornery caracals. Even though they're really not that ornery or hostile at all, but we are going to kill them. We're going to kill a whole bunch of them. Now, I've already got some fleece, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on these guys. And as you can see, if the RNG gods are with you, you get a pretty decent amount. I'm already up to 75. So we're going to stop after a few more stacks of that fleece. If the RNG gods are with us. Now, while you're out here doing your daily grind for materials you may want to put on some music or have an audiobook or something that's not a cry for sponsorship or anything really that's i don't think i would ever accept a sponsorship i find it really annoying when channels pander and shill their sponsorships it's just kind of disingenuous to me anyways have something in the background to kind of help numb the sheer boredom of this because it will get a little bit boring after a bit of time. That's pretty much a guarantee, but if you want to make some gill, you gotta be willing to work for it. And this way, you can make a lot of gill. It's a little bit of work. But it pays off. All the crafters 
they're going to need this fleece. So 95, that's a good amount. Now, I'm going to swap over to Botanist. A truly heroic looking botanist, even though this is kind of low level gear. Anyways, we're going to go get ourselves some oak logs. And that's going to be by Camp Tranquil. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time gathering each one of these things that I need. Just maybe a couple of minutes at most. This is mostly to give you a general idea of what you would be doing if you were really going to be putting your nose to the grindstone and cranking out uh, a lot of this stuff. So right over here we've got some mature trees. With the oak logs. This gives us an extra gathering attempt. I'm going to use Blessed Harvest, which increases the amount we gather by one. So each time I swing the axe, I'm going to get two of these logs. I'm going to use Field Mastery 2 to give myself a little boost. Now we got a 95% chance of gathering this. Okay, we've got 10 oak logs. I'm going to do one more tree, and then we're going to go off and find ourselves some mahogany logs. High quality, that's good. That's going to sell for a little bit more. Couple of them, that's good. Fantastic. Next up, mahogany logs. That's going to be right off the coast of Wineport, or not off the coast, nearby Wineport, which is off the coast of, you know what, never mind. Go to Wineport, Mahogany Logs are right over there in that area. Now currently with my level of botanist, it may be a little bit difficult to harvest some of them, but I'm going to do my best to get a decent amount. So we got 12 oak logs and two high quality oak logs, which is good. Now on my server right now, after I had just looked at the marketplace, they were selling for a decent amount. And I have not discovered any of this, so we're just gonna plink away at this and hope, <laughs> hope, that we uncover some of this, but it looks like things are going to be a little bit difficult. I've only just recently got to this level, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. Here we go, some nutmeg. Oh, come on, don't be difficult. Uh, of course, it's going to be difficult. Uh, let's see. Do I have some cordials? I do not. I did not come prepared. Oof. Well, we're going to do the best that we can do anyways. Hey, there we go. It's always going to be a little bit of a struggle at some point. This is the reality of the game. It's not always easy and it's not always quick. There we go.
There we go. There's the mahogany log I wanted. Ourselves a little bit of a boost. And I'm not going to collect as many, so... Time-worn leather map. Yes, please. Those also sell for a pretty decent amount of gill. Uh, if you get your gathering to level... Well, to the point where you can gather from level 40 nodes. So about level 36, 37 like I am. You start uncovering those treasure maps. And you can either hunt them down yourselves and hope for some decent items out of there that'll make up for, you know, some costs associated with it. Or you can sell them on the market board for a pretty decent chunk of gill. So I've got 10 mahogany logs, so I'm just going to finish up with this tree. There we go. Got 13 mahogany logs. Now we're going to be going for some walnut. Now, those are going to be around Buscaron's Druthers. And they're going to be a lot easier to gather from, thankfully. And if I remember right, these are the ones I'm looking for. Yes. So again, I'm not going to be collecting a whole lot of these. Just enough to kind of give you the idea. And also, again, we don't want to be selling in really huge stacks anyways, so there's really no point in collecting huge stacks. We're getting a decent amount of high quality ones, so that's good. And actually, I'm going to start moving some of this over so I have a little bit more room in my bag. And that'll be good. A lot of this stuff, I'm going to be going to the Domen Enclave and trading it in. For Gil, as soon as I'm done with all this uh, gathering here and putting it up on the market board. Which I'm not going to show that. I've showed it a couple of different times. Uh, in previous videos, you get the gist of it. Turn it into the Doman Enclave for a 120 or 20% boost to its original price. A uh, good way of making Gil if the price of the item on the market board is equal to or less than the value of the item if you were just going to sell it to a vendor. Okay, so that's enough walnut. Now, old goat leather and toad leather. First things we need to make that is something called alumin. And luckily, we can get alumin in the same place that we can get old goat skin, which we can turn into old goat leather. And the alumin is also used in making toad leather. So we're just going to be gathering up a little bit of that. A few old goat skins, and then we're going to go get ourselves some to our, uh, gigan toad skins. And we're going to be turning that into leather.
Now, to make Ald Goat Leather, you have to be Leather Worker level 16. And Ald Goat Leather goes for a really decent amount on this server. The price of Ald Goat Skin can drop, but the price of Ald Goat Leather stays more or less pretty stable. Because Leather Crafters, they're always going to need it. Okay. So here we go. We got some Illumin. And we're just going to get a little bit of it. Now remember, back in my World of Warcraft days, people would literally fight over resource nodes. So that's one thing that Final Fantasy XIV has over World of Warcraft. You don't have to fight over resource nodes. If you want to go out and gather something, you don't have to sit there and scour the area and hope and pray that other people don't get to it first. If you're able to collect it, you can collect it. And it doesn't matter how many other people are in the area. And here we go. I think that's good enough. Now all we got to do is collect the skin of the toads and the old goat. And that's not going to take hardly any time at all. Well, hopefully not. Again, it's all down to the RNG gods and whether they feel like smiling upon you this day. Sometimes you get a whole bunch right off. Sometimes it can take a little while. Like I said, it's the daily grind. Sometimes it's pretty good. Sometimes it's not so great. But in any case, it's something you gotta, you gotta do and gotta work at. If you want to make gill, you got to put in the effort. Okay, so we've got four old goat skins. I'm thinking I want a few more at least. Seems like there's a few other people either uh, doing the quest where you need the old goat chucks or just going out and farming like I'm doing right now. Either way, there's plenty to go around. Okay. I think that's enough. More than enough, actually. We're going to get rid of the old goat chucks. I can sell them to my retainers true enough maybe make a little bit of gill but it's really not worth it so now we are going after the gigantoad skins and one of the better places to farm it is outside of revenant's toll so we're just gonna head on over there and uh kill ourselves some giant toads And they're going to be outside the Western Gate. Around that big crystal over there. Now the drop rate for these is not as good as the Ald Goat skin. But it should be good enough to get a few, which is really all we need right now for our purposes. There we go. And there we go. 
Okay, now let's not waste any time. Let's pop over to Leather Worker. And actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Alt Goat Leather. Let's make up. Uh, let's make up five of those. I'm just going to do a quick synthesis. Hopefully I succeed all five times. If I fail, that's all right. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I only need a few to make a point for this video. That this is relatively easy stuff. There we go. We got five circles of alt good leather. Haven't quite made it yet, that's fine. There we go. And hopefully I finish this before the toads respawn in this area, because they will one-shot me at this level. Now let's go back to the apartment and put our stuff up for sale. And looks like I finished up right on time because the giant toads were respawning right behind me. Okay, so we got our little bit of farming out of the way. Let's see here. Not bad, not bad. We're going to put the stacks of fleece in stacks of 30. For 350 gil. Since this one's a bit of an odd number, I'll put in 35 of them. And those should sell relatively quickly. Hopefully within the day. Now, the oak logs. 900 gil. Not bad. I'm going to put it in for... 850, I'm going to go ahead and sell that stack of 12. High quality. I'm going to sell it for 2,300. Because the only other stack of high quality is selling for a stack of 26, and another one is going for a stack of 8. People are more likely to buy this stack of 2 than they are a stack of 8 or 26. The nutmeg. Two forty-five. <coughs> Almonds. Not worth it. Iron acorn, high quality. Uh, six fifty, or no, six eighty. Mahogany logs, sack of 13. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to do 2,500. Time worn leather map. Uh, yeah, 900 is fair. It's a very common map. Six high quality walnut logs. 800 is fair.
regular old stack of 10. 7.75. Three high quality aluminum. Five hundred, perfectly fair. Old goat horns. I'll do seven fifty. Old goat skins. Yeah, those are uh, not selling well. I'll go ahead and put that in reserve for later. The giant toad skin, again. I'll turn that into leather. Toad leather itself. 950 sounds perfectly fair. And now the old goat leather. I'm only going to do a stack of five. Asking price, 950. And there we go. And it's really that easy. This is a really condensed, quick version that I did for you. Um, I could do this all day. I have done it all day before. Really, it's for selling off a bunch of stuff over a period of time. This stuff, I can sell it right away and move right on. But I just wanted to make a point. Don't be afraid to get out and get your hands dirty gathering up materials and all that for other crafters or gatherers who are too lazy to go out and get something for themselves. Like in my very first video that I ever did and proved to you, people would rather buy stuff off the market board rather than get it themselves or buy it from a vendor, even if they have to pay a higher price. So, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.